Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we have a Dollar Tree haul and I have a desperate man portrait right there. No, my, my screensaver is artworks, but it just popped up at the most poignant moment that I noticed out of the corner of my eye, the desperate man um, portrait painting. Um, so if you have a DHD, you can watch me, you can watch that, you can listen to the air conditioner, you can just have a grand old time during this Dollar Tree haul. But it is going to be a grand old Dollar Tree haul because I have lots of items to share with you that I've been really desperately trying to get here, here at this very moment to be with you guys and share these items with you because I really have been trying to get my 17K subscriber appreciation gift together, but I've had so many obstacles lately up to and including my wallet being stolen right in front of my eyes the other day. Um, it's kind of a long story, so I'm not going to put it in here, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I have these scenarios that happen in front of me and I have to really decide like how I'm supposed to handle them because like everybody I told the story to was basically like, no, you go to the police. And I'm like, but the lady did it right in front of me. And I just feel like somebody that desperate, like what would the point be of getting her fired? I'm going to go back and see if I can try to resolve it with her because I know that she took my wallet, but it's a long story. So maybe I won't be able to resolve it. I really think I'm a hippie. That's what it is. But I mean, what's the point of getting somebody fired if they stole your wallet I mean, they're just going to steal more people's things. She's not going to stop stealing. And I don't really want to have somebody arrested over stealing my wallet when it's just a crazy scenario. Um, it's a long story. So if you guys are interested in hearing that story, leave a comment down below and I'll make a little video about it because it's at least a 15 minute story. But right now we're here for a Dollar Tree haul. And of course, one of the items that I really want to share with you guys is the Star Lush eyeshadow palette because, I mean, I'm not going to swatch this palette, obviously, but I really want to calmly share it with you guys. It seems like they're coming maybe in 6 or 12. I don't know. There weren't a ton of these on the shelf, but I did get three of them. This is the one that was open and damaged. It actually is super damaged, but I don't care. This one's mine. One is damaged which is mine. I don't care. See that it has like layers, but it, people put their fingers in this one, but I'm not going to die from it. It's fine. And, uh, I wasn't going to leave it there. This one has definitely been swatched. It has some, you guys can see, but look at all those colors, but this one is mine. Like I said, and it does have like a chip and it's okay. And there's a finger mark in the bottom layer too, but I don't really care because I mean there's so many colors to choose from that look at how incredible that is though you guys this palette really is insanely amazing I mean it fills the screen look at that it's an entire screen of colors can you believe that was a buck and a quarter it's cri oh see that's why it doesn't matter <laughs> I break everything oh I didn't do that bad. I just lost one eyeshadow. These are super pigmented, not for nothing. Um, I, of course, lost the pink eyeshadow, which is probably gonna be the one. No, I'm not gonna put pink in my eyes. I have the uh, Flower Beauty. Today I did my eyes with the Sun's Blazing palette, which I'm also gonna share with you guys. Oh my God, you guys, that palette is crazy. Because this is so many colors and it's just so insane, and you can actually buy this on their website for $8.99. So if you guys would like me to maybe do like a short swatching video of just this palette as a shorts video or something like that, if you guys are interested in maybe ordering one of these as a Christmas gift for your friends or for yourself, I mean, it is a very highly pigmented palette. I am going to be giving you guys one. I feel like this eyeshadow palette is all the eyeshadow palette you pretty much need. It has every color, metallics, you name it, it has it. And 120 colors, eyeshadow, star lush, their beauty. And then on the other side, it says star lush eyeshadow palette. The showstopper has arrived. Get ready to experiment with 120 
totally new in pigmented colors, a stunning collection of their beauty. It does say warning for external use only, avoid direct contact with eyes and keep out of children, discontinue and keep out of children. <laughs> Um, when would I ever put this in a child? Once it's opened, it's good for 24 months, but you guys know that eyeshadow palettes, I almost never go bad. All the other makeup that I have goes bad, but eyeshadow palettes like never, ever really go bad. And, um, it's cruelty free. And I, I think that it's an amazing item. Like I said, this disheveled mess is mine. And this one was open in the store already, but I picked it up anyway. Um, I'm keeping the disheveled one. I'm giving you guys a perfect one, obviously. Really happy to get what I got because I I know that one of my really good friends is going to love that eyeshadow palette. Then the next item that I wanna share with you guys, now this, this, this haul is not all makeup, but I just wanna make sure to share these so that I can move forward because now you guys know that I did promise you the sun's blazing swatching but in today's video i am only using the sun's blazing flower beauty palette and you guys this palette is beautiful it is a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow palette i love the burgundies and the yellows you guys know that i love me some yellow orange i love the sun i love it all i love the brush that it comes with i don't use it for my eyeshadow very rarely do I use an eyeshadow brush to do my eyeshadow now those are the colors right there and I'm gonna tell you guys this palette is crazy crazy pigmented I'm actually gonna swatch it even though I did use it on my eyes but I can tell you that I did my eyeshadow with all the metallics because I I can't help myself I really I was like no 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 oh yes and then I just went ping 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 and my fingers went only in the metallics because you guys know that if it sparkles and shimmers, it goes on my face. That's it. But I'm going to swatch it. I did um, prime my eyelid with that first one, which I, I, I like it. It's like a neutral peachy. The eyeshadow itself is so creamy. It's just a beautiful palette. And I will tell you guys this. There weren't tons of this eyeshadow palette out there. I don't know how long it had been out and about. I know that there are a few other palettes out there. I know Bunny Birdie Gator found one. I think, leave a comment down below if you've seen anybody um, hauling other Flower Beauty palettes that are similar to this and what their names are or what the color scheme is. Because the Nude Remix, I think it's called Nude Remix. That one I found. I found Suns Blazing, but I think that there's like a berry one out there. And I think that there is, I think, or is it a face palette? It's called like Concrete Jungle. There's like a gold one out there. There's quite a few palettes. Cause I, I like to just watch random Dollar Tree hauls and look at this palette, you guys. This palette is everything. Oh my God. I love this palette. Let me just say, this palette would look absolutely beautiful on a dark-skinned woman with some bright orange Milani lipstick. Yes, 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 yes. So I think I have five of these, and I do plan on sharing with you guys when we hit 18K because in the back of my head... Since I have collected quite a little nice new collection of flower and I see that it's been trickling in and I do plan on taking a road trip, I'm hoping to find even more flower beauty stuff. But, and I know I'm talking about 18K already, but I'm excited. I hope I get to 18K. I really can't wait to get to 20K because, you know, it's like a big thing, like kind of like when you turn 21. Like, keep jumping the gun because I just want to skip over 17, 18, 19, and then go to 20. Like, you know, when you're a teenager and you just want to be 21 or when you're five and you just want to be 10, I'm like here and I just want to be 20. Imagine if I could be 20 all over again, like 20 years old, never mind 20K. Uh, maybe that's why I'm so, because I'm not going to be 20 years old ever again. Let's just be realistic. But maybe I'll find some more flower palettes. Now that's possible. Possible. Not necessarily going to happen, but I found two and I do have some from 
Flower Beauty Part 1, when I first started my channel, those are the most beautiful Flower Beauty palettes. Austin, Downtown, all of those palettes are beautiful. I'm sure that people are going to jump on the Marina bandwagon and try to do some big extravagant Flower Beauty giveaway, but I've always done huge Flower Beauty giveaways. Um, when, when I first started my channel, I had an enormous Flower Beauty giveaway for my, I think it was... 2000 subscriber appreciation gift it was a big milestone but it was a big one and it was a huge 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 giveaway value retail value because it was a lot of flower beauty that they brought us and i had found so many items but i still have some of those items i have some of the brushes the angled br i have all of that so i'm gonna put the brushes and stuff like that in the giveaway again but i do have a little secret up my sleeve because Flower Beauty, Drew Barrymore, designed something for our hair to style our hair that has won many awards. And I'm currently chasing one online. And I know that I'm going to get one. So I'm going to get one for you guys. And I'm really excited because you guys know that um, there are people that love to spend money on all kinds of things, but I like to spend money on my hair. That is what when I have extra bucks, I go to the beauty parlor. So I kind of like to give you guys extravagant, luxurious things so that you guys can play with your hair and do fun. It's fun to have nice hair styling products or blow dryers or curling irons or hair rollers or whatever to try new things, in my opinion. So that is what I'm hunting by Drew Barrymore because it won lots of awards and Hopefully, if I do get one of those on my hands, that's what you guys will have in the 18K subscriber appreciation gift. So I'm going to show you guys this gorgeous eyeshadow palette again, Suns Blazing. Tell you that I used all of these colors in my eyeshadow today. And I put this eyeshadow on. Right now, it is all clipped. My favorite. Oh my God, I love this thing. It's probably maybe around five or six judging by the outdoor lighting um oh right now it's 8 45 and i put my eyeshadow on at like seven o'clock in the morning so for what it's worth that's pretty amazing it's doing great and i also put on well i did put on the frankie rose primer that Mel from Couponing for a Cause sent me. Oh my gosh, you guys, that primer really is a game changer. My skin feels like so lovely and the lighting is not great right now. The truth is I stepped on my, um, I'm, I told you guys I've been having the week from complete week. It's been like a year like this. I don't know how I haven't gone to the loony bin. <laughs> Honestly, I was like trying to declutter my room and I dropped my light and then I tripped over the cord and fell right on it. And then I was like, oh, I didn't break it. And then I stood up and smashed it in half with my big old foot. So that happened. Well, my ring light. So now I'm using, <laughs> you guys don't even want to know. I'm actually using one of those Dollar Tree lamps that um, Constance sent me months ago. These things are great. If you're a YouTuber and you don't have a ring light, not for nothing, if you live in North Carolina or South Carolina, you go get you one of those $1.25 sunbeam lamps and you're insta famous. These things are pretty darn good for a buck and a quarter. You don't need a ring light. Well, the lighting in here is really bad in this um, room because I just have overhead lighting. But if I had one more lamp, if I wasn't too lazy to go get the other lamp that Constance gave me from the other room, I would have made it perfect, but I just was like, either you do this now or you're never going to get it done. So let me stop my talking. The other item that I found that, by the way, I've been using this. So for those of you who follow my channel, then you'll remember me finding this one months ago. Like this was the tip of the flower beauty iceberg. Yeah. I feel like today we're going down flower beauty lane. So, um, when I found this, I was in Lawrence. I think I was in Lawrence. It was an area that I don't normally go to. For those of you who are local uh, or like far Rockaway, I was in that area. And I was in a Dollar Tree I don't normally go to. And when I found this in that Dollar Tree, I was like, whoa, I cannot believe what I found. I'm wearing the primer that Mel sent me from Frankie Rose. 
that stuff is amazing. But on top of that, I'm wearing the Flower Beauty Serum Foundation. That is, um, I think it's called Shello, S-H-E-L-L-O. You guys, that foundation is really lovely. I mean, it's, I do have, I always wear Clinique under eye concealer. My eyes are very sensitive. <gasps> Speaking of sensitive, okay, this is another crazy thing that happened to me. So I thought I closed my freezer the other day. I, I'm cursed, you guys. I thought I closed my freezer the other day, but there was like a stuffy in the way. And so things defrosted. And then when I did realize it a few hours later, I went to close it, but it really didn't close because the water had dripped and an icicle had formed. And I didn't realize it was still a little open. So then it was open secretly the whole night. But long story short, when I woke up in the morning, I was like, oh my God, I had to throw away all the food. But then I cranked it up so that it would get cold in the freezer. And the few things that had not yet defrosted could refrost because some of the freezer had not yet completely defrosted. And because I cranked it up, I accidentally cranked up the fridge also and my salad stuff froze. So I was like, well, my cucumbers froze. So I sliced them up and I put them on my eyes. Look at this, you guys. I got hives from cucumbers on my eyes. <laughs> Who does that happen to but me? Like literally, I have a rash on my face. See that right there, right there. I mean, it's pretty well covered, but of course only I'm gonna sit here and show you and here, but cucumber, I eat cucumber. I'm not allergic to cucumber, but something about putting raw frozen cucumber, which is supposed to be like wonderful. People like do that for beauty. I put it on my face and immediately I was like, Ooh, why are my eyes tingling and tearing? What's happening here? And then I took it off because I was like, well, I might as well just relax and have a day of beauty. Cucumbers it is. Cause I was like, this sucks. I had to throw away all of my frozen foods and, um, or like half of my frozen foods. And a couple hours later I was covered in, my eyes were swollen. So only me, but back to this, I've been using this for a while now and I didn't find a ton of these either, but this is going to definitely be in the 18 K subscriber appreciation gift. And what this is, and I was hoping to find another color, but I never did. This is a light to medium lift and sculpt contouring palette. I would love to find a medium to dark so that way I could cover every skin tone. Maybe I'll try to see if I can find one online just so I could complete. But uh, let's see what else we get here in the Dollar Trees. Um, you never know. You never know. There's been a lot of flower beauty spottings, but I have found a lot of stuff, you guys. And I'm going to share almost all of it with you right now. So again, look at how beautifully pigmented that is. Now that's the contour, which I am wearing. I don't use tons of contour because, well, I guess because I'm just not very good at it. Um, I use tons of highlighter. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I like to just put all of my makeup on my face, barely blend it in, which everyone is like, oh, you got to blend, blend, blend. Eh, I'm not really much of a blender. I'm more of a put it on and run before you really take too deep of a look at your wrinkles kind of girl. And that works for me. Truth be told, I had forgotten about it for a little while, but I fished it out and I'm absolutely in love with it again. And sometimes I don't necessarily do contour with this. I'll use it as blush because you guys know that I, but today I'm actually using the pink as blush. So I have the highlighter from here on and it's great highlighter. And I also put it here, which I always do. I always need some kind of highlight there or I'm not happy because this palette, although it does have this really gorgeous one, it was still a little too dark for me. I really like a very white, pearly, inner corner action situation going on. And I did put a little bit up here, like of course, because you just got to do, you know, my eyebrows are already severe enough. Might as well make them look like I'm angry. And then that pink blush is just a lovely, rosy, beautiful color. And again, this is contour, but you can also use it as blush. This is a very, very gorgeous lift and sculpt flower beauty contouring palette. Absolutely love that. And it does show you what to do to lift and sculpt. And I do put some of the, um, you know, that little trick where you put it here so that automatically you're like snatched. 
I don't really know how to do all of that, but I do listen to those TikTok people <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, I don't know how to do that. They're doing it magically. Those people are all using filters. That's all I know because I can put all the contour in the world down here and I still have a chin that I could see, but that's neither here nor there. So these are definitely going to be in the 18K subscriber appreciation gift plus the nude remix and hopefully many other fantastic items that will trickle into the Dollar Trees between now and 18K. So let's get our motors running and somebody out there can keep tabs on all the items that I'll be putting in 18K plus that little secret implement that I wanna order. Now this came in, this is the lipstick that I'm wearing by the way, you guys. And this is probably, I so regret not buying more of this. Let me just say that this is such an insanely nice color. And when I tell you guys the name of it, you're going to be like, you should have known, Marina, you should have known because it's called Spice Ginger and Spice Ginger. Like, I don't know what in the world I was thinking. I only bought two of these Miracle Matte Lip by Flower Beauty. Look at the packaging. Look at everything about it. I don't know why I only bought two. I hope that I stumble across this again, to be quite honest with you, because if I find it again, I'm going to buy five of these. This, this is amazing. I do have one for you guys, but I didn't buy a ton of these. I mean, I would never buy a ton of them, but at least like five, five, because five is good. I could share with friends, keep two for me and one for a giveaway, but I'm definitely got one for you guys and one for me. And look at that color. It's like a Indian henna red orange, spicy, autumn, beautiful color. Honestly, it's like the color of my shirt, almost exactly. And I mean, obviously I love that color. I love this color. It is so beautiful and it's a matte and it's, this is, it doesn't, nowhere, nothing. This is amazing lipstick. Maybe I just put on more. I might have put on more right before the video and I don't remember. But um, yeah, it's amazing lipstick. It lasts and lasts and lasts. Then I'm currently drinking one of these. Life in my life is a beach. Enjoy the waves. Cup. I love these. The Rise Brewing Company Oat Milk Latte Nitro Cold Brew Coffee that is organic. I've tried the mocha, I've tried the vanilla, and the actual plain nitro cold brew coffee that's dairy-free made. I'm, by the way, I love oat milk. I just love oat milk, period. It doesn't bother my stomach, it, and I love that it's organic. I could drink this forever. I'm probably going to order this online. That's how much I like it. It's just amazing coffee, and... I really enjoy having one every day. It's obviously non-GMO because it's organic. Um, vanilla is not my absolute favorite, and I even liked the vanilla, but I enjoy putting a little bit of sweet cream, just a drop of the real Bliss, because that's my favorite, the Bliss Creamer. I just put a drop in it, and it just makes it so delicious. I love it. Uh, I don't know if I shared these yet. I didn't pick up a ton of them, so probably more, more likely not. This Glam and Beauty Cosmetic Sponges, 18 assorted sponges for $1.25. Of course, of course. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, they're latex free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect because I am most definitely, I'm allergic to cucumbers. I'm obviously going to be allergic to latex. Jesus. I'm like allergic to just about any. Constance was like telling me the other day, she's like, you Marina, you're a medical anomaly just like me. And I was like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. My eyes were like, no, what is all of this? What are you doing to us right now? And I was like, how could you be allergic to cucumbers? My face, what is wrong with you? That ever happened to you guys? I mean, I highly doubt that anybody accidentally froze their cucumbers, but <laughs> these are nice. I, yeah, I could tell, I honestly, I just love this one so much that I would have paid $1.25 just for this because it makes me feel like I'm going to get ready to like go play some poker or something because it's like a diamond shape. I don't know the crazy things that go on in my head, but they're all worth it. I mean, there's this beauty blender, 
there's this you can use these wet as well and then there's all these sponges which is great for um you know the cream compacts which sometimes i do use those the um cream foundation compacts in the summer i do kind of use those sometimes when you're really sweaty it's just a lot to deal with then i also picked this up when i was in jersey i think that this haul may be from Jer i don't even know i just grabbed a couple of bags i've got a lot of stuff to haul but i specifically wanted to share the flower stuff with you guys because i have found a lot of flower beauty and i just haven't gotten around to hauling it um this is by a brand called brilliance medium large size wood stick now i'll be honest with you guys max absolutely loves this mabel thinks it is absolute crap when i showed it to mabel she was like what is this like what kind of toy is this i can't eat it it's not real wood i have no interest in this max loved it though it says that it supports healthy teeth and gums well because i have more than one um keep your dog engaged and challenged prevents boredom and destructive chewing safe durable and long lasting for medium to large dogs 22 to 44 now it is um chew bone flavored dog toy is made of real wood fiber a pacifying soft and durable chew which helps clean teeth and remove tartar made of safe non-toxic materials and infused with maple wood flavor throughout this chew toy will provide your dog with long lasting enjoyment I guess that's why, because Mabel does not like peanut butter, maple, blue, not blueberry and cheese. Yes. Blueberry just alone. No. So she, she used to like frozen blueberries. Mabel's a weird dog. She just doesn't like a lot of things. She likes bacon. She likes beef. She's a beefy girl all the way. And salmon. Max, he's a different type of happy go lucky dog. He likes everything. It, it is non-toxic and sometimes they will play with it only when Max wants to pester Mabel. So there's that. I found that a long time ago, but I have been noticing it popping up in more and more stores. So it's not yet become irrelevant. And look, this lipstick is still as gorgeous as ever. I picked up another one of these home is the sweetest place to be bags because now hear me out. I am going to, I have two of these bags now and one that I've already used. So this is my third, I have three all together because one, it's the cutest tote ever. Who doesn't love strawberries? But also I have this fantasy going on in my head that, that I will be able to find a case of those strawberry blush and highlighters and the lip glosses that are strawberry scented by Be Pure because be Pure is basically a Dollar Tree brand. It is sold in Dollar Tree and it seems to be in abundance. Oh, I love it. I keep getting distracted by the paintings. Um, it seems to be getting restocked in several stores. So I'm going to buy a case of it and tuck it away for next year. And I'm going to make little strawberry um, Mother's Day gift baskets for a smaller location and I'm going to deliver them in this bag because I just love the whole idea of it. I did pick up these white rain cocoa butter lotion and classic lotion one because they're actually pretty good. They are 12 ounces. Now, of course I have, but you know, what's actually so funny. If you look right here, I don't have a ton of things. I don't keep this stuff for myself. So I do love the um, Yardley lotion and I have one in my bathroom and I have an equation one in my bathroom because I wash my hands and I use lotion and I have a Yardley one by my sink and I have my night creams and my serums by my bed and I'm using the oil of Olay beautiful um, body lotion that Megan sent me from California's Target clearance but um, in general I don't have a ton of things that I keep for myself because I don't want them for myself. But I have to tell you guys that I do like to have lotion in the bathroom and in the kitchen sink and, you know, here at the desk. So one of them is going to stay here at the desk because I just finished my bootleg Aveeno that they sell at the Dollar Tree, that like oatmeal. That one is a really good lotion too. That lotion I like a lot. But I have to tell you guys, the cocoa butter one smells 
so good. I love that beachy cocoa butter. The I love the smell of coconut and cocoa butter. Oh my God. It just takes me to the beach. And that can live right here at my desk. And it's very, very nice lotion. I really like it. But I mean, when you get older, you're con I'm constantly moisturizing. I'm always grabbing a, a handful of lotion and just plopping it somewhere on my skin, my leg, my foot, you name it. I'm always moisturizing when I'm home. And this classic one, I'm not sure if I bought it for me or to give to someone, but I love the scent of it. It's highly fragranced. If you do not like fragrance in your lotion, you are not going to like these. But I do kind of like these cheesy scents. I have to be honest. Oh, and it's Innovative Brands. What did I see? Oh, I found those wipies recently that were also by White Rain. Um, yeah, this one, it's almost like Irish Spring. No, not Irish Spring. Kind of like Ivory. It has like that Ivory, that classic, classic. It's, it's not lying. And I... I just really like both of them and I love that they're in a pump and honestly I'll probably peel the sticker right off of it because I hate stickers like I'm gonna peel the sticker off of this for sure and then as this starts to get less and less see now that is a cool hand lotion and I could put a sticker on there like of a beach thing or whatever I feel like putting on there and I know what's in there. I know that it's white rain coconut lotion. Nobody else needs to know what's in there, but I love that it's a pump. And because when you live in a really little space, you can't have all kinds of labels all over the place. You'll start to go mad. Like you need like, I'm not a minimalist by any means, but you guys get what I'm saying. That's when things begin to be cluttery. I like to like not see logos and things like that because it just becomes overwhelming and it just makes my brain go too crazy. But let me see what else I got here. I did get these and I smashed them up, but that's okay. I'm going to try <laughs> for those of you that were following vlogmas, you're like, yeah, okay, Marina, I'm going to try one more time to make those brownie cream cheese, cherry hack things that I made about 50 times, but I'm getting smart now. I bought the smaller pans so I can split the batch and if I ruin them, I ruin less and I have one more try per day. I never accomplished it, by the way, during Vlogmas, but I don't give up in case you guys haven't figured that out. <laughs> Hopefully before next year, I will have figured out how to make that thing. That hacked it. They had all over the internet, but nobody actually told us the recipe. Then you guys saw these already. Um, I don't think I've hauled them because I think this is the first time I'm pulling them out of the bag. but. You've seen them a million times. These are wonderful. And another item that I couldn't wait to share with you guys before I can share my 17K subscriber gift is something that I ordered from Tibu that goes with these because I just finally got my Tibu order that has something that goes with these gorgeous makeup bags towards that subby gift. And I had to wait for that to arrive and that's another reason why I have it. So there have been like a lot of little extenuating circumstances. You guys get it. I, I really had a good reason, but I love these quilted bags. I just think they're so, so cute. I, oh my gosh, my nails match. This is that L'Oreal polish that I found on Staten Island. You guys, that's probably my favorite polish that I've ever, ever bought in the Dollar Tree. I am obsessed with it. It's got like a texture and it's almost like you're putting diamond dust on your nails. It's so cool. It's not glitter. It's otherworldly amazingness. And so are these makeup bags by Sassy and Chic. Love them. I actually love all things that sparkle. And then here is the unused Spice Ginger. Just so you guys know that I'm not giving you used lipstick. Obviously, I love this lipstick and I'm not giving mine away. Another item that I found, but it was the only one that I found, and I realize now that, because for a second I thought it was a return, but it's not. It, it was brought back into the stores, is this absolutely gorgeous Flower Beauty lipstick that is not a matte. Now this one is called LG13. Do you guys see that? LG13 and LG... LG stands for lip gloss, obviously, and it is called Plum, is that P, 
peony or um, posy plum something but either way that I'm not even going to open it because I know for a fact that this is something that was meant to go in the subscriber appreciation gift. I know that there are lots of people who absolutely love these mauve lip glosses. That's like their absolute thing. So, of course, I'm not going to open that or swatch it because that is definitely going in the subscriber appreciation gift. And I also found one only of this, but I'm also going to put this in the subscriber appreciation gift. And what this is, is a L'Oreal Infallible 8-Hour Pro Gloss. I never found another one. I wanted to find another one and just swatch it for you guys. I probably would never use it, but I'm going to show it to you guys out of the package, but I'm not going to swatch it because I've never found another one. Isn't that so pretty? Look at that color. And it is an infallible pro gloss. But look at, it's like the coolest lip gloss. I love L'Oreal products, by the way. L'Oreal and Flower Beauty. I think L'Oreal and Flower Beauty are my favorite products that the Dollar Tree's ever gotten. I know that everybody loved hard candy. And I'm the first one to tell you guys that I love palettes. But that's as far as it goes. I love Flower Beauty way more than I love Hard Candy. I know that some people are going to come, come after me with that one, but I do. I just love Drew Barrymore's line. I feel like it's a much more high quality makeup product than Hard Candy across the board. So look at how everything just sort of came to be. I had not yet found this, but I stumbled across these. And if you guys remember, these Medi Bio Capsule Masks, Advanced Brightening with Glutathione is a biocellulose sheet mask, a glutathione serum capsule, and I had these a long time ago in the Dollar Tree. I don't know what in the world brought them back to that store's shelves, but these are 10 bucks online. I have purchased these since that, I mean, this, this is go, I, it was blue actually the one that I originally had, but maybe I had the purple one too, but, um, I found the purple ones and I repurchased these after the Dollar Tree ran out of them because that's how much I love them. And I paid $10 for this mask. It's a really good mask. It is so wonderful. I absolutely love it. And of course, one of these is going to be going to you guys. I found two, so I figured I'd share. I did pick up the 100 count gummies um, because I did find the 170 count gummies several times. Um, I, I would say I found them about 10 times at this point, and I didn't buy them every time I saw them, but I accumulated either like four or five bottles because every time I saw them or every other time I saw them, I would pick up one. Like, I want to give my friend Kathy one. I, I have a few friends that are local that I wanted to give some to that had asked me for them. And then I have a friend that's not local who hasn't yet found them. So I picked up two of these hundred count ones because I'm going to ask her if she would rather have two of the hundred count ones or one of the 170 count ones. Or maybe I'll send her one of each. But, um... I picked up two just because I definitely want to have, these don't expire for a long, long time. So I definitely want to be able to take them until then. I mean, I don't see why not. I'm really enjoying having my candy every morning. I look forward to my vitamin time. I am like right there front and center. I'm ready for my vitamins, pop them in my mouth because it's like I get to eat candy all in the morning. These do not expire for a full year, you guys. February of 2024. So I, I'll i be long done with them, but I'd like to be able to take them for as long as possible. So obviously if I find them again in 10 more stores, I'll buy some more bottles because my friends would definitely like more of those as well. They, they don't get a ton. I think that when they get a box of them, they get 12 of the 170 count ones and 24 of the 100 count ones. I did um, purchase another one of these whitening renewals because Money Minded Michelle told me that this does not bother her teeth and it is for sensitive teeth and she's right. 
I've been using it. And did you guys know that the background really is pink? It's not like just the, the actual packaging is pinker than all the other ones, which I kind of like. This one is the Colgate Enamel Renewal that's whitening. And like all the others, this is amazing toothpaste. For some crazy reason in my head, when I look in the toothpaste section, when it's boring regular toothpaste, it's this way. But then when it's exciting toothpaste, it's this way. But that's how my brain looks at it because this is my favorite. Other than that, I buy the sensitive one. The, the I, I think it's made by Dollar Tree even. It's just, I've shown it to you guys. That says sensitive, it's like a dupe to Sensodyne. That's good toothpaste. But as long as they keep bringing these in, I'll keep buying them. I have probably... I'm using one of the whitening and this is my backup and I still have six of the other ones before they disappeared from the stores altogether. Those were my favorites because those are good donations too. Like I, sometimes they do bring them in droves and I always pick up toothpaste. That's like a common item that I deliver. So I'm happy to get stuff like that. Then, um, I have found lots of these reusable snack bags at this time and I absolutely love them. Now this one I think may be my favorite. Although it's small, I just love it because I think I'm gonna start putting my, um, re I'm gonna start putting my receipts in here. It says reusable snack bags. Each bag replaces up to 500 single use plastic zipper bags, set of snack bags. And this is the size of the snack bag. But it says girls will save the world. See that girls will save the world. So girls will save the world and their receipts in this pouch because I'm just going to start shoving my, well, I also lost my wallet. So I might be using, this might be my temporary wallet till I get myself a new fancy schmancy wallet is now this girls will save the world, but they couldn't save their wallet. That's okay. Who knows what that's all about? But I think those are really, really cool. I, I mean, you could put tons of stuff in them. You could put snacks in them. You can send your kids to school with their snacks in there and reuse it. Rinse it out. Cheez-Its are not like going to go bad and make the bag stink or anything like that or whatever your kids have their little snacks. Why waste plastic bags when you can just rinse it out when they come home, put it on the side and then pack their, you know, food in it again. And then look at the little monster ones. Absolutely adorable. So, so cute. I love this. And look at her cute little lashes. I just love these. They're great for so many things. I mean, so many things. You can make yourself a little nail kit in them. Things that are this size, I generally like to put band-aids. I mean, I would love to get my hands on a lot of these. And I'm hoping that they keep bringing them in more and more. Honestly, I am seeing that some stores are getting these by the case and case and case and case and case. And I just have a funny feeling that we haven't seen the last of these. I have this sneaky suspicion that once back to school comes in full effect, these are going to be rampant in the Dollar Tree to the point where we're going to be sick of looking at them. And when that happens is when I get to grab a case of them. And when I get a case, I have the ability to use these to do things like I can get huge um, from wholesalers cases of crayons and just put crayons in here and make little packs of crayons for kids because it's actually really money saving to do it like that, buying crayons in bulk and packing them in. You can put them in Ziploc bags, but I would rather put them in here or here um, or making little emergency kits or making like cute little um, or just making some type of back to school stuff in here like a pencil uh you know some pencils some erasers stuff like that like I could actually buy these because you're getting two for a dollar 25 as opposed to one for a dollar 25 and I can put some pencils some erasers you guys get what I'm saying but I just have to see like I don't want to buy them all up when depends on how many the stores get but as of right now, I'm starting to see that they're getting lots and lots. And I have a funny feeling that for back to school, kids are going to be getting these with pencils and eraser. It's much because I can get like a multi-pack of erasers and pencils and stuff and just put like a few pencils, an eraser, a sharpener, 
and some crayons in these and still give kids what they need, but just not full. You guys get it. Makeshift. And actually, I would just drop it off to the shelter for kids that don't have any. Cause some kids get there and they don't have any school supplies. So I would make like 20 or 30 of those. You know, you guys get what I'm saying. So that's probably what I'm going to do with most of these. But I picked up two of everything that I found. And then um, the Zip Tuck reusable lunch set. This is my absolute favorite size. I've subsequently found other styles, but this is my absolute favorite, favorite print. Everything about it is so cool. Look at this cactus print. I mean, I obviously love cactuses. I actually never show you guys this, but I didn't take it out automatically. I do every once in a while buy pasta at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be making some macaroni salad. And I mean, 25% more. This is 20 ounces of pasta. That's a lot of pasta. At this point, most stores, their packages of pasta are 12 ounces, not even 16. So... 20 for a dollar 25 is a pretty good deal. I mean, I think Aldi's is really comparable, but you guys know that I'll do anything not to have to go to the supermarket. They brought this in. You know what? I opened one the other day, but I don't know what I did. I might've thrown it away. I'm terrified of it. I'm going to show you guys why. This is the sassy and chic lash comb. And I'm sure you guys have already seen this, but I'm scared of this. I mean, one false move. If somebody calls my name and I turn around, you are stabbing your eyes. Do you guys see this? Like, my, my lashes have not been combed in all the years that I've been alive. I'm pretty sure that at 52 years old, it's not that detrimental to my well-being. And how do you guys feel about this thing? I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of this. This really scares me. I'm a very accident prone person. And furthermore, the clumping is the only thing that even makes my eyelashes look like they're visible. They're there. I truly do not have lashes or eyebrows. So I love a mascara that gives me some good clumpage. I don't know what more to say. <laughs> That's what my eyelashes, my eyelashes are basically built on clumping and reapplying and whatever residue was left from the day before. Did you guys ever watch that episode of, okay, this is going to date me, but it's like one of my, honestly, I loved Married with Children, the TV. I loved Peg Bundy. I thought she was hilarious. And I loved Al. Al Bundy was hilarious. And he would always say that, um, like, I don't remember what, hot, maybe it was the 4th of July, but it was like their big barbecue cookout. And he was saying how um, the food the dirt from last year is what made the burgers delicious this year. The residue of mascara from yesterday is what makes my lashes there today. So I get that. And, and this thing, I do not like it. But I'm sure that there are people... What is the general consensus on this? Have they always had these things in it? I am so... I mean, I'm moving so slowly because I'm genuinely scared of this object. I don't even use knives. I, I used a knife once in the last few years to open the thing for my hair. And my, oh, my thumb is healed, by the way. It has actually healed. But I'm telling you guys, I almost took the whole tip of my finger off with the knife. Bloop, just like that. So not for me. That is not for me. I'm going to definitely pass that on to somebody who has really big eyelashes and could just be like, oh, here, I'm brushing them. It's so not for me. Now, PEDS. Let's talk socks. It's sock a palooza. PEDS, in my world, multiple packs of PEDS are just as good as gold toe. I love PEDS. Um, I love gold toe. I love anytime I get tons of socks for just $1.25. And now these trouser socks were there a size 8 to 12. These are so cool because you get several, several designs. Look, there's like nothing cooler than when you have like a fun pair of shoes on and or like, I, I'm, I guess I'm back in the 90s again, but I love pointy shoes in the winter with boot cut jeans and some printed trouser socks. Like I like to see a little bit of print. 
I just think that's cute. I love pointy shoes. Even I'm hoping to God that I can wear pointy shoes again if my plantar fasciitis ever truly, it's almost healed, but still kind of killing me sometimes. So let's look at all the prints. I just want to show you guys the cutest ones. These are super cute socks though, really and truly. And they are really big, like eight to 12. They're not joking. That is a good size trouser sock. Like it's definite. Look at that. That's not going to cut off your circulation. And that's like a pretty floral print. I don't know. I just think that that's like a little something, something extra peeking out from like a pointy shoe when you cross your legs. It's just cute. And like you have a nice blouse on. I like that look. I think that pointy shoes are always going to be in style in my head, <laughs> even though I don't think they're ever going to. I think this year penny loafers are in style. I guess it would be cute with penny loafers too. pointy penny loafers, which I did have in the 80s, which I loved. And I had penny loafers that had zippers instead of pennies. Those were really cool too. Remember those styles of shoes? Oh my God, I wish they would come back in style. And they were really comfortable because they had like Doc Martin soles. Then they have Lycra Energize compression trousers. These are pretty good, you guys. Okay, now the thing is, these are not extended size. So these, after a few hours, I'm not gonna front. I had to push them down a little or I would have been like in the hospital. But because they are a little tight, here but they are compression and for me for my circulation it's really important if i'm going like on a long drive or something to wear compression socks so i did wear these which i hate when i have to wear socks because i like my feet to be free and happy in flip-flops but of course my cursed luck lately took that away from me too so i have to not wear flip-flops all the time but i'm doing the best that i can and i am doing my swimming so that it's good for your circulation and who knows, maybe it was just something. I did actually have, I don't think I even told you guys this. I had shingles and I didn't know it. Um, and it's really crazy because it had made me very sick. Um, back when I thought I had strep, it turned out I had strep and shingles and I was really sick. But even when I'm sick, I don't even stop. It's just, I'm just like that. Then these are a size five to 10 as well. And look at that one. Isn't that so pretty? Love, I love these. I absolutely love trouser socks with pointy shoes in the fall. It's my thing. I did get two packs of these. I'm going to give one of these to a friend. These run from size 7 to 10. You guys, these are amazing. They're moisturizing socks. I mean, this is what life is all about. I literally live to marinate my feet in my socks at night. That is what I live for. You guys know it. But now I'm just adding even more happiness to the sock because these are aloe vera infused and they're not joking. If you find these, my I know my girlfriend is going to love these too. I almost don't want to give them away, but I'm, I have three pairs. I'm, I can't be that greedy, but you get three pairs for a buck and a quarter right off the bat that's amazing they don't bind your feet at all you can sleep in these they're so nice you totally want these trust me these are put them on put the lotion on let your feet suck up every drop of moisture and then in the morning don't even take them off just continue put your shoes on and go because of course you've showered the night before otherwise you'd be gross but these that's what i did I had errands to run and I just love them. My feet actually were like a baby's butt when I took these off. They are actually for real infused. Oh wait, I didn't even read what it says. It says infused with aloe vera, leaving foot feeling pampered and relaxed. I just said the same thing. Yep, it's true. They really do. But I could never stay all night with my socks on. There's something about these socks because I don't fall asleep socks on, but you don't feel these socks. They're like, they are relaxing and pampering for real. Like they are, I don't know, they're magic. And then natural aloe alleviates the discomfort of dry skin and provides a moisturizing effect. And it does, it does everything. These socks do every single thing they say they're gonna do. And then some, 
luxurious, soft knit feel. Yes, to all three. I hope that you guys find these Medi Peds. They are so nice. If I find another pair before I announce this 17K giveaway, I'm going to put a pair in there. I hope to find more because they're that nice. Four pairs of these peds in size 8 to 12, gray times two. So you're getting two pairs of the gray, one pair of the black, and one pair of the white. And they are cushy and lovely. And I am totally loving all of that terry. I love that. It's almost like wearing an Ugg. Like you guys know that feeling of wearing your Uggs barefoot. That's what that terry inside is. I don't like the inside of socks. Usually I have to turn my socks inside out, but that, when they have this terry inside, I don't know why, but I really like socks that are made of that. I just love it. Love, love how that feels. I have weird foot tactile sensitivity. My feet are just the only, I'm just a total foot weirdo. So yes, th I love them. Then I actually got these for my girlfriend who is really, really picky about socks. And after she saw my video, she was like, Marina, please, if you see those socks, please grab them for me. So I did grab her two packs. Whew, for a second, I thought I didn't have the other pack. I grabbed her two packs. She loves these socks. You get six pairs of PEDS for $1.25. They're the seamless toe, six pairs, lightweight, no show, size five to 10, made in the USA. This is an amazing deal. Three, three of the white ones. So you, this is a week's supply of socks. And then you take the day off on Sunday and you put your feet in your slippers. And you get hot pink, purple, and teal toe bed and heel cap and then solid white. I mean, a buck and a quarter, a whole week of socks. You don't even have to do laundry for two weeks. And then Sunday you use slippers and no socks. But I mean, all joking aside, six pairs of socks for $1.25. That's brand name. I mean, these are unbeatable deals. Go out and find yours because I am seeing these socks everywhere. After a while, I don't tell you guys over and over again. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here because they're everywhere. These pets have hit everywhere, but some people clear the shelves. I did not do that. I know that it's getting harder and harder to find the stuff in the Dollar Tree. And I can always find this stuff is from three different stores that I'm showing you. So just so you guys know, I didn't buy them all. Um, now this is size five to 10 shoe size, quarter half cushion. And I picked up two because they had a ton of these and I'm not sure whether I'm going to give my girlfriend a pair of them and keep one for myself or, well, I'm going to try one on. And if they don't cut off my circulation, then I'm keeping obviously my, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but I'm probably going to give one to my girlfriend if she wants them, but they look to be really good because they have the four way stretch. And what I like about that is it hugs your foot and stretches in all directions, but this arch support actually strengthens your arch. So because I have that whole plantar fasciitis thing, every little bit helps. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try one pair on and if they don't cut off my cankle circulation, cause I've got me some big cankles, you guys, I just, I've always had them. I used to be bone thin with big ankles. So now it's like a whole other world. I also picked up some Q3. These are like three X equivalent to, um, they might actually be a little too big on me, but there's no such thing as that. Cause I doubt it. Um, they're actually Q3. They're for people that are five, six to six feet tall, which I'm not, I'm five, four or 240 to 290 pounds, which I'm not either, but I don't like it when anything is really tight on me, even my pantyhose. And I have a funny feeling. I probably needed a, a Q2, but I kind of would prefer that it not be super crazy tight on me because they're not going to be. You guys know what I mean. They're pantyhose. But these are made to fit your body shape. Silky sheer comfort panty. Denier 20, which is good. Those Denier 20 does not run. Like you have to stab it to get it to run. Comfort panty. Soft, no roll waistband. No back panel, 
heads ladies made to fit you. And they're sheer silky and it does say nude and it also says that it has like some sort of high tech technology, which I would believe. I mean, I did get these pantyhose a long time ago and I only kept one. I gave the rest of them away. It is a very good pantyhose. Like they did not run and I wore them with go-go boots. And you guys know that when you wear knee high boots and pantyhose, you inevitably stab them with a the zipper or they just run because your foot likes, but they didn't do any of those. These are really comfy. They're very nice pantyhose. They don't bind you up here, which I can't stand. Um, so I did get two of those for myself because I like to wear knee high boots in the winter with my summer dresses and cardigans over them. I like to wear summer dresses in the winter because I do not like to ever go bare legged and I wear capri pants in the summer because then I don't have to look at my milky yucky. My legs are so white and just nothing to look at. Oh, you know what else I wanted to talk to you guys about? I wanted to share this with you guys. Now this is the bergamot coriander scented bath and shower gel by Prideful. I did hear you guys say over and over again that the pride is too watery. First of all, I just want to say I don't have a lot of backup stock in here. This is where I keep my like things that I want for myself. But I will tell you guys that I love this prideful stuff so much. I love this stuff so much. I actually do have a backup bottle. This scent of this specific coriander bergamot. Now I'll tell you, I didn't find all of the body butters and I'm devastated because the body butters are my favorite thing I've ever used in my life. I, oh my God, I love this smell so much. I want to eat this. I want to like, I want to be one with this bergamot. This scent is all things that bring me joy. I can't, and it's red, but it, so it doesn't come with a pump. That's number one. Obviously, I am an, a pump hoarder. I've made that very clear. Certain things that Marina will never get rid of are pumps. Never throw pumps away. When you are done, you put that plastic bottle in the recycling bin. You take that pump off and you put it under your bathroom sink because you never know what's going to come down the pike that's going to need a pump. And you should never have to buy a pump for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree when we buy things every day that have pumps with them. And this will be staying he, honestly this bottle is really nice i might just upcycle these these are so cool the sticker comes right off can't you guys see putting like a pretty i love this bottle i think it's very very nice that's another reason why i bought it because it's a sticker but the prideful what i did and now my prideful if you notice the color the variants you can clearly see marina has done some sort of mixology as usual. I love to mix things. I am a condiment maker, a mixologist, and somebody that does not throw away something that smells like heaven on earth, which is what this bergamot and coriander scented bath and shower gel smells like that I love. What I did was I took my equation body wash, which I'm going to put a picture of it if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, is the unscented, super hydrating very nice body wash that we found a couple months ago. So what I did was I put what was left at the bottom. I mean, I had used this a couple times. It, I used it in, I know people were saying that they felt like it didn't leave them feeling clean or any of those things. I didn't feel like I wasn't clean. I just don't love it when it doesn't foam up because, you know, you want to have a lather. So I put some of the equation in here and mixed them up. I've since used up, like I've, you know, I spilled poured it while I was in the shower. I was basically bartending in the shower with the prideful. That's what I was doing because I poured some of this into that and then mixed it up. And then I tried it out and it lathered wonderfully. It doesn't change the fragrance because the equation is unscented, but it's marvelous. And yeah, and I'm going to pick up another bottle of that because they still have the equation body wash everywhere. And I'm going to do that with all of my prideful stuff because... I love the prideful stuff and I turned it pink from red, but I'm okay with that because I legit love that scent. And 
I wanted so bad, and I do have one of the red body butters, but I really wanted to find like the green tea one. And I have looked, you guys, everywhere I go, I find the orange fragrance. I see the face masks for pride. I see the shower gels, which I personally love, but I'm not going to stock up. I mean, how many, there's always going to be something else at the Dollar Tree, but for me to have a backup bottle for myself that I put in my bedroom, this is no joke. My favorite scent I've ever had. I might honestly pick up a third one. That's how much I like it because I'm not giving that one away no matter, under any circumstances. That's how much I love it. Um, that specific scent. And I do have a body butter in the red and I do have a body butter in the orange, which by the way, love also. I love it. I don't think I ever found the mandarin scented um, shower gel either. Ugh, so many scents, so little time. But I really wanted the green and I really wanted the blue and I never found them. I would love to have one of every color body butter because this body butter is luxurious. I've already shown it to you guys, but I should have bought another red one. I don't know what's wrong with me. I bought like one of every, because I mean, how many body butters could I possibly have? It's a big tub of body butter, but I honestly love it. It is so super moisturizing. I don't think anybody did not like the body butter. The body butter is incredible, amazing. 10.6 ounces of sheer body butter happiness. Um, but I really wanted to find the other colors. Comment down below what color you found because so far I know that there's a blue one, a green one, I have the orange one and I have the red one. I only have orange and red. I never got to the other side of the rainbow. I'm, I'm only on this side, not the other side. You know, I saw the green one and I didn't buy it. I'm thinking about it net right now. What in the world was wrong with me? I just forgot to put it in the cart. I'll probably never see it again. And I obviously love those because I have not shut up about them. And then I think this is gonna be last but not least, not to be confused with the lipstick that I'm currently wearing, there is a variation, but both of these colors, Flower Beauty is the bomb, you guys. I just love Flower Beauty. Now, this is the ginger spice that I already took. I mean, spice ginger. But of course, you guys know that in my head, every time I even think about this lipstick, I'm like, colors of the world, do, 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 do. Like, of course, <laughs> like, of course. The Spice Girls are running through my head. Spice up your life. This is called Melon Pop Miracle Matte Lip. I have not yet swatched this, but I know I'm going to love this because this, this is one of those kind of colors because I love hot pink. Hot pink is the only pink in the world that I like. <gasps> oh my God. Are you guys seeing? <laughs> this is like fluorescent lipstick. Look at that color. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Of course I do. I did get more than one because I actually picked up three. I picked up one for my girlfriend who I know is going to love this. And one of these is going to be in the 18 K subscriber appreciation gift because I have something else up my sleeve with the 17 K. Remember 18 is going to be flower beauty. I, I am 100% in love, in love with this lipstick. This is definitely a pink flamingo. Oh my gosh, yes. Cause I have like these tropical scarves that have like pink flamingos that I ordered from Timu or like maybe they're, I ordered, this is such a pink flamingo wardrobe kind of color. Perfect for the summer. I am really excited to be super tacky and hot pink neon-y and I can't wait to put I can't wait to put this lipstick on and put an outfit on around it. And just quickly, I'm going to show you guys these. They come in mango, I believe, and pineapple. But um, I picked up a couple more of the pineapples. The pineapple ones, not pineapples. The Azul Coconut Water Agua de Coco with pineapple. This is the bomb. My son loves it. We love coconut water in this house. Coconut water is really, really hydrating. And... Um, it's good for his gut health. It, it um, helps with the electrolytes. It's gluten-free and um, 
it's very hydrating and my son has like some serious gut issues since he had mono so coconut water is really good for that and yeah he really loves this so I'm so happy when I get these at the Dollar Tree I really like coconut water in a plastic bottle I don't love it in the can for some reason I taste the difference but with this because it has like pineapple or mango it doesn't bother me as I don't know I'm nuts I'm allergic to cucumber on my eye we've established that but um, that's it guys that is everything that I can share with you in this haul this has been a crazy haul um, let me know what you thought of this haul if you enjoyed this video please 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 make sure to leave my video a thumbs up there have been a bunch of crazy things going on on YouTube lately and it has most definitely affected my views on my channel so if you do enjoy my content and would like to see me continue to do videos on YouTube well then please 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 give my video a thumbs up leave a comment down below about anything and everything that you want to talk about whatever it is I'm here to read it and if you can share my videos that will absolutely help me get kicked back into the algorithm and all will be well again. At least on YouTube, all will be well again. And then hopefully the curse of the Dollar Tree addict will be lifted in all other areas of my life. Um, oh, I wanted to let you guys know, these are a pair of earrings that Constance, Butterfly Mom, sent me from Butterfly Mom Creations and more. And I do have a package of stuff that she sent me that I really should have already opened but um, I'm already wearing the earrings and I'm gonna be sharing that very soon because I also have a friend mail from Mercedes one crafty ginger so I will I love these earrings they are so fabulous oh I'm so happy that I remembered to share these earrings because obviously I haven't done those friend mails yet and as always guys stay safe and stay savvy bye bye